this is Mark Anarchy and today we are unboxing January 2016 Arcade Block. Arcade Blocks get shipped on the 25th. So I got this shipped on the 25th of January and I received it on the 1st of February. So from Canada to the UK, five days. That's actually really good. So let's have a look and see. I think that's the fastest I've ever gotten one. And we've got quite a lot of stuff in there. The um, emails and Twitter and Facebook all said that we would be getting uh, Mortal Kombat, Portal, Pokemon. I'm hoping it's a Portal t-shirt, maybe a Pokemon t-shirt. Oh, and uh, Street Fighter V, I think, was another thing. Right, let's start with this. It's got Morph Ball written on it. Morph Ball Stress Reliever, and it's an arcade block exclusive item. Little cardboard box. It's in a plastic bag. Ooh, it's very, it's very firm. It's one of those very hard to squeeze stress relievers. But it looks like a moth ball. That's very nice and it will look nice on my shelf. I've never really got into Metroid, even though I have some of the games. I should really give them another try. So we've got another one of these little boxes. It's an arcade block puzzle cube. Do they mean Rubik's Cube? Like, does it mean you can't open the box? Try from the bottom. Come on, get out. Hmm. It seems to have Mario symbols on it. So we've got a note block, question block, leaf, star, and a P switch. I like the concept, but the sticker's peeling off. It's very light, flimsy, it's a bit cheap and nasty, to be honest. Feels a bit fillery. Hmm. Not overly impressed with that one. Oh, we've got something very big here. Oh, this shall be the Mortal Kombat. It's a scorpion bobblehead. And that really makes a change from all of these stupid pop vinyls. Hmm, scorpion or sub-zero? Which one have I got? I've got scorpion. Could we have gotten sub-zero? I'll need to have a look at the insert card. He's not very bobbly in the box. He's very detailed. He's got all blood splatter on him. Obviously, he's got an overinflated head because he is a bobblehead. But that's very nice. And like I said, makes a change from all the bloody pop vinyls. Something in a bag. Oh, you are shitting me. This is the Pokemon thing. Arcade Block, you are really boiling my piss right now. You hyped up for weeks on end we were getting a Pokemon item and you showed all these pictures of like figurines and t-shirts and cool shit and we've got like a shitty little woolly hat. What the fuck, Arcade Block, really? Oh, that is so shit. Oh, you suck. You suck so badly. Exclusive. Yeah, I think it I think we all got Scorpion looking at that. Oh, the t-shirt has two potential designs. And next month we're gonna get Sonic the Hedgehog, Zelda, and Bitrip. Apparently. Let's have a look at the t-shirt then. What is it? I have got it's Ryu! It's Ryu. And I think Ryu is more popular than Ken. <laughs> yeah, I'm happy with that. That's quite a nice detailed, very thick fabric. Is it Shirt Punch? Yeah. Reliably good shirts from Shirt Punch. And the last thing must be the portal thing. It's a sign. Is it metal? It looks metal. Yeah, it's metal. Nice metal sign. 
uh, reminiscent of the old Aperture Science Facility from Portal 2, I believe. You will be hurt. Co-workers, don't endanger others. The company, replacements are costly. Investigators impede progress. Safety first. And it's got some little holes in the corner, so I could, um, I'm going to pin that up with some drawing pins. That is nice, but I would have prefer preferred a portal t-shirt. So we've got the sign, we've got the cheap and nasty puzzle cube, we've got the Metroid stress ball that's rolling away, we've got the very high quality Mortal Kombat bobblehead, we've got the lovely Street Fighter t-shirt, and we've got the absolutely pathetic Pokemon woolly hat. That is January's Arcade Block. I will see you in February.